the Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm hungry. They already established this. I think they heard you. I'm hungry. Okay. So we've got cheese crackers, some semi sausage, a whiny dog. I look full mouth. All right, coffee. I look full mouth. And Pepsi. I look full mouth. Think what talk when you're mouthful. <laughs> All right. Let's get this party started. In the chapel, 2 Corinthians 5 17. Therefore, if anyone is new in is in Christ, the new creation has come and the old has gone. The new is here. Hey. Oh, that's Wilbur. That means he's gotta go potty. Can you let him out? Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta. Alright. Yeah. Alright, so pretty much ringing in the new year. New me, new you, new everything, new in Christ, right? Alright. I'm new. Yep, you're new. They look the same. Um, we won't go there. They look the same here. Yeah. New on the inside. Look down I your can... throat. I need a mirror. <laughs> no. Alright, in the barn stalls. I uh, don't put a bunch of what have we been doing? Okay, so we started Wednesday. <laughs> I haven't even eaten mine and in the vine salt is your segment. And you just put food in your mouth. Nope. Nothing new to that, is there? Alright. In the barn stalls. different day. No, it's not snake show. There's two. In the barn stalls, what all did we do? <laughs> Let's see here. We played the lottery. Mm. We got okay. a lottery to get here. We did. Barn stalls. Animals. What's going on with the animals? They're a little chilled. It's kind of getting colder here now. Mm -hmm. I mean, cold. And we brought in. How many it was below house? freezing out there, guys. Mm -hmm. And what did Jace deliver today? Uh, six round bells. So, I guess we're round bells feeding animals. Did we talk about them last week? I don't think did so. Did we have them coming? I don't know. I well, don't know. if not, we'll repeat. And we had six round bells coming last week, folks. So well, I thought know. there were eight. Yeah. So we might have mentioned it. Turns out there's six. And we paid a guy to haul them in here, so we got them pretty inexpensively. Let's put it that way. They're big round bales, so they should be able to last a lot longer than our square bales, correct? Mm -hmm. They're well, primarily for the cattle, though, correct? Mm -hmm. Anything that's on the pasture. Right? That's a sheep in the time, so. Mm -hmm. We did. We opened that big gate that one day. And Actually, left up a couple of days, didn't we? Mm -hmm. But those were three we had previous. Mm -hmm. This is the other six. Moose, that's enough. Whiny -er. Oh, he's just mad because Carl and Wilbur are out. He's still a whiny -er -er. But Wilbur, with him um, whining, that means he's got a little poopy. And he just ate, so apparently he didn't get his insulin and put him out, huh? Uh, Alright, so Christmas Day. How do we spend Christmas Day? Because that's kind of in the barn stalls. What did we do? Did you grab the horses? Yes, I did. That's not all I did, but... We what did you it. Okay, talk about in the um, barn stall stuff that we did. And then we'll, that is farmhouse stuff. Okay, um, let's see here. In the barn stall. Mm -hmm. Worked the horses. Worked the Mustang. Combined. Yep. Hi and old silver. But what did we get done with Kavite? Mm hmm? I put way on the show up. <laughs> when I feed him, I swear, the older he gets, I'm out of control. Um, you put weight on each side of the stirrup, correct? Yep, yep, yep. yep. Okay. How'd take it? Did he go bucking off across the... Oh. Only once or twice. <laughs> he got calmed down after about the 20th time, you know. Oh, <laughs> He stood there and took it like a champ. I honestly think RJ probably could have put his leg over him. But, I don't know. He pairs up with me. He does really good with me. Um, <laughs> I took him over. I had him out in the pasture. And, one of the things that we do to build confidence is we walk them and build a bond and they have to learn that we're not going to take them. They have to trust us to not take them into any dangerous situations. What do I have to have you do so Kavaya would calm down? 
go right up there off yeah there's like this little creek that oh it's only there all the time when it rains and so it's like lots of mud puddles and then when it rains it fills up and looks like a little creek so I would not the grass is taller there because we don't mow it and we don't mow it because you can't it, it gets too wet tractor will get stuck whatever um so I called RJ and I said, go ride the draw, make sure that there's no coyotes. I don't want to take him into a situation not knowing. And there have been coyotes down through there, correct? Mm -hmm. I didn't think there was anything, but I had to make sure. So I sent RJ down and he goes with his rope and he's, you know, holding on precious or... Mm -hmm. So they just ride down, cross it and come back up on the other side. And he's like, mom, it's good. I said, okay. So then I worked with Kavayu to trust me to walk over there. So we're walking over there and normally I ask the horse to walk with me like even head for head and he wouldn't. He kept ducking behind me like he was hiding. Okay. <laughs> God, my youth is not small and he really wasn't hiding behind me was he son? No. More like using you as a shield. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. So we get over there and I'm walking and he is like ducking right behind me. He just doesn't have any confidence. So we walk the whole thing on the one side, and finally he realizes, huh, there's nothing here. So he puts his old head up and starts snorting and tries to run off, and I was like, hey, I'm in control here. And I took the uh, lead rope and gave it a little tug, and he realized, oh, yeah. So you can see his confidence. Moose, that's enough, please. You can see his confidence blossom after he conquers something that he's not sure. Now, he's been on that pasture before, has he not, son? And he has the confidence of the other horses. And so the other horses will go over there and then he knows it's safe to go. This was, I was counting on him to go by himself and he's like, eh, I don't think I like this. So he's learning more and more to count on me and he follows me without a lead. I can walk and he's in a closed, a small enclosure, correct? We're not graduated to a big enclosure yet. But he walks around, follows me like he should, matches me pace for pace. Um, we saddled him up, which we've had him saddled before a couple of times, correct? Mm -hmm. So he t takes the saddle pretty good, and he moves with it on. Um, he really does good, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. So RJ and I decided it was time to get some weight on him. Hopefully by this summer, I will be walking around. Well, okay, I'll be riding him while he's walking around. <laughs> What are we gonna do with Kavayu? Because he's not gonna be a roping horse, is he? No. Nope. What is he? Gonna be your horse. Gonna be my trail horse. Yeah. Which means he probably will never leave this place. Um, just because I go out, work cattle, walk around. I rode Precious for a while. Yep. Did I not? Yep, that fell off. I did not. No, I just want to see what you say. <laughs> and did I fall off? I don't know, but it might happen. It and might. I had the video camera just in case it did. Yep. So, anyway, but we had See a lot of fun, didn't we? Out. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, as long as I land, land on my butt, I'm okay, because that's got to be Just don't break a hip. Just don't break a hip. <laughs> oh, she broke her hip. She broke her hip. <laughs> the only thing I've ever broke a collarbone and a um, couple of ribs when riding. I broke other bones, just not when riding. So, as long as I don't break a leg or an arm, break my heart <laughs> okay so what else is going on in the barn stalls we're having a feed issue explain it the place we've been getting feed from has quit sacking feed they still mix it up but they either want you to bring a bin to stick it in or they'll deliver it to on site a bin so uh, do we have a bin no we do not and when we say a feed bin guys we're not talking a 33 gallon or even a 50 gallon job. We're talking one that can hold 2,000 pounds of feet at a time. Something and that hold. only will last us, how long does a ton last? About three weeks. So that's less than a month's worth of feed. Um, it is what it is. We figured out a bin. Now we just have to make sure that our feed store will be able to handle this kind of bin because it's not a standard bin, is it? 
that's a little different. So we need to make sure that our feed store can they deliver can handle delivering to this bin because we don't have the auger. They have a, a I it's an auger. It, but it's an onboard auger. Yeah. To their truck. I can pull up to a truck and I get this little chute and they turn it. It's a little hydraulic deal and it goes over and puts it over the bin. It's a little spout that goes down and they just turn it on and it runs all the feet. Mm-hmm. So. Yep. So, as long as their auger can handle this kind of bin, we're good. Right? Yep. We should be set. If it can't, well, we've been playing with some feed formulas, correct? Yeah. We found some feed on sale tonight. And we work with it, and we're gonna mix it with some other stuff. And it's time to get a feed. And it costs mm -hmm. more. So. Mm -hmm. That is one thing. When we first started this um, farm, we were buying feed, and I took and did all the research on the mix feeds. And I know there's a video. I don't know how to pop it in, but. Um, I'll try to put a link down below about my trip to the feed store, right? Probably. Probably. But it's not a feed store, it's a mill. So, um, anyway, uh, where was I going with that? <laughs> I forgot to eat my cracker. Anyway, mm. It's okay. You're I all, took nobody knows. I took the time to figure up our feed. Now the problem that RJ's having is I put all the research into that feed. I know why we don't do molasses. I know why we don't do certain ones. We know the percentage of fat. We know the percentage of protein. What is high enough for the goats? And you can't get the goats feed too high in uh, protein. Correct, son? Right. And you have to watch the fat. So our feed is mixed exclusively for us it fits our needs it is the high end of the goat sheep feed correct and the mediocre for the horses correct mm -hmm. but even though it's just the mediocre for the horses um we actually can get the amount that we need by upping the volume for the performance horses and lowering the volume of feed for the horses that are our pasture ornaments so um, which none of ours are truly pasture ornaments. We use them all, but the ones that are out on pasture at the time also get hay, they get grass, they get, you know, so we can lower their amount of feed, raise up the form of choice, and it, it evens out. And it is a good quality feed. It doesn't have fillers or, what do they call them, molasses? Preservatives? Additives. Additives. There you go. That's the word. It doesn't have any additives. It's solid grains. I can't say that our grains are 100%. Don't come on. I can't say that they're all GMO or, or free or organic or any of that stuff, but they are just grains. And so, um, they come from a farmer, Farmer yep. Brown drives his tractor, plants the corn, harvests the corn, sends it to us. No, sends it to the mill. Sends it to the mill. Then we get it from the mill. Mm -hmm. Farmer Joe plants the oats, grows oats. So Harvest if you're interested in any of that feed stuff or what the percentage is and what our mix is, just get a hold of us. We, we don't have a problem sharing it with us. I got a hold of you. What is it? You know what it is. Ooh, your hands are cold too. Anyway, so we're dealing with that. You're nice to Anything else in the barn stalls? You're making me cold though. Come on. Anything else in the barn stalls? <gasps> that was a thing. What things? You do this that every was... week. You don't have a thing. Do you? One of these days I'm gonna have a thing, and you're gonna get really mad, and then I'm gonna blurt out the thing, and you're like, "Well, fun." <laughs> so pretty much, it's winter, it's cold, haying, feeding, figuring out feed stuff. With the new year comes changes. Changes are what they are. Um, feed stores change. You shouldn't wait till new year to make a change. So if you want to make a change, that's you should... in the family farmhouse. Oh. Okay, so moving on. Any fences? Anything break or have to be repaired? Dad hit truck up. <coughs> Had to pull it out. <coughs> yeah. Hang on, we need to back up into the barn stalls because what's with Carl and Wilbur? Right now they're outside, but yeah. what have you been dealing with? They've been jumping out of their pen and want to chase the chickens a lot, so we've been... They've just been unruly. <laughs> but part of it is, is that I haven't been here, correct? And they show me more respect than they show RJ and Lee. 
I don't tolerate disrespect, and these two just yell at them. And I would have been just fine with that. <laughs> Ding dong. Yep. Somebody's here. Bye. Anyway, that's RJ's phone. Quit. Um, so, we're dealing with that. We actually took progressive steps. We did. I've got um, something coming that will help RJ take control. It's not something that we use all the time, but it's something we're going to implement because these two dogs, if you turn your back, or they think you turn your back, they try you. And it's because they're thinking dogs, aren't they? Wilbur doesn't think very much, but Carl does. And Carl just waits and watches everything. And then when the moment is right, he's on it. So we have to have a way to correct him where he thinks he's not watching. Or we won't be able to turn loose if we don't. So, what was our solution? What do I have coming for you? Uh, two shock collars. Where I can they're not going to wear them all the time. If they are for training I'm, purposes. Just and, when they're out with them. Yep. Because we have to have a way to call them off and they're not answering him. I can stand there and if they go after a chicken or a sheep or whatever, if I say their name and tell them no, that's it. They like cow, pee, they're done. If RJ calls their name and says no, they don't even stop what they're doing. Do they? So, we borrowed a friend's collar, correct? They do respond to it. We didn't get as high dollar of one. Yeah, we get the cheap one. Well, because Not hers cheap. range, hers are for bird dogs, and they range for a mile radius. We don't leave our dogs unattended like she does, so we don't need a mile radius, do we? Me. Okay, so we got some that are a little bit... I couldn't even see them. You're, you're, not adjust, you're making it adjust with your hat and stuff. So quick. I'm kicking the table Board. And you guys want a whole nother year of him, huh? I can't believe a lot of y'all have lasted this part of the year, this far. Um, okay, so let's go back to many fences, right? Oh, I'm stop it. Oxen. Many fences, what did we just get in the truck stuck and you had to use my truck to pull the other truck out? Okay. There was this thing. Oh, here we go with this again. I fixed in the, the yarn deal. barn. In I the yarn that farm. Dealie. Okay, that's in the yarn farm. Okay. All right, in the yarn farm. We've been tumbling fleeces, getting them ready to that's go. That's what I fixed. I fixed the bicycle. I did fall off a stationary bicycle, folks. <laughs> and I am not ashamed of this. I fell flat backwards. Just pow! Right on my butt. Staring at the ceiling. Moose! Pow. Enough! Just like this. Just poof. Yeah, we see. Okay, how did it happen? What were you I'm doing? just driving to town on my stationary <laughs> bicycle. Gonna go to the feed store, get me some snacks, put my basket. Just, just sitting there pedaling, please tumble. We're going right along. And I'm trying to start to relax. I lean back a little bit like this, right. just lean right. back. Right. And what? The seat just flipped backwards. <laughs> I mean, like a switch. Somebody just flipped it. Because he leans back and it just whoop, and he just went whoop. Right off, right on the ground. I'm just sitting there staring like this. Just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just me and I remind you, I'm driving to town on a concrete floor. <laughs> it did not feel good. No. I laid there for about 10 minutes. I was going, how did this happen? Moose, that is enough. Then I got up, and the seat busted. I was leaning back. And I didn't lean it back. I'll lean the car seat back all the way back. Lounge in. Or a bicycle. Mm -mm. That's not my style. So we got bucked off a stationary bicycle. Yep. Um, we've got time. all the fleece done, correct? I've got product. I've got to go through and figure out yarns that I've spun, right? And really, that's all we have left. The bags will be 75 cents off. I've got soaps, and I didn't get any work done on anything this week because I've been gone. So, um, all right. In the fields, I harvested those gourds. I haven't been back down there to get them all picked up, so I don't know if they're good or not. So we'll see. Just because it's been cold and damp and it freezes Rainy, and thaws, wet, and, yeah, dry and hot, and I haven't cold, as wet, I just said, I haven't been home, so I haven't gotten back down there to get them all picked up, right? Right. All right, in the farmhouse now. What have you been doing? Been driving my station bicycle. Moose, enough. What was I supposed to talk about? Christmas. 
What else did we do on Christmas? Oh. Okay, so let's back up and we had a wonderful Christmas. We did Christmas Eve, right? At Sister's house? My daughter's house. And then we Christmas Day. Day. Right here. I yes. ate like literally right behind the camera. Literally. Yeah. Well, the camera wasn't here though. It was put up. Right here. I'll show you. I no. Right stop. There. Come on. Really? Yeah. Now we have to adjust everything. I hate when he does this. Okay. So anyway, we ate here Christmas Day. And I have never had a Christmas Day that I didn't have my kids with me. Now she is 31 years old. And mom's and psycho she's crazy. 21. I am. I have to have my kids. I have to know that I spent time with them on Christmas Day. It just is. Our what birthdays. It is. We may never see her. She's like, oh well. I gave birthdays birth to, are birthday. I gave birth, I gave on, that birth day. Okay. on that day. Okay. It's but Easter, day. Thanksgiving, and Christmas, I will see you. I don't care. I see it now. One of these days, I'm gonna go. Hop on a plane to Alaska. She's like, <laughs> I am here. And then I drugged your sister along with me. Yep. I have to have my two kids in the same spot together, even if it's just for a few minutes, correct? So, um, Christmas Day, my daughter had to work. And where does she work, son? The bar at the casino. She does. She's a bartender at the casino. She makes good money and she has full benefits because it's Cherokee Nation run. So, um, it's a decent job this area um for this area that's you know and because it's part of the cherokee nation she gets a lot of benefits so that's and i'm not talking about benefits at the casino itself like she gets health benefits she gets um what life insurance she gets they have contracts with different places for discounts and so she gets a lot of she has paid time off i mean for being a bartender she gets a lot correct so, she's 401k, the whole thing. And uh, so, I drug you up to the casino. And how did you do? What did you do? Well, I... I sat and gambled. You did. He's 21 now, and he can gamble. It's not much fun. It's not like pull the arm or anything. You just you push button. I push the button. I'm good at that. And what did you get done? Um, now, I will... This full disclosure. We go with $20 or $10, and that is all we play. If we lose that... You're done. It is our entertainment budget, and that is it. And we don't go very often. So going to see my daughter on Christmas was a big deal. Um, we're going to repeat it for New Year's. We don't go every if day. It's the holidays. I know. I can stay awake that long. Because she has to work a VIP thing, and, and then, then she, gets off. she gets off, and then we're going to return together as a family, and... Mom's probably gonna be passed out of sleep just from like I had to work. I have day. to work. <laughs> I have to work. <laughs> like, it's eight o'clock, guys. I'm going to bed. I know. Wake me she at eleven fifty. I know. <laughs> so and RJ and I had this big long conversation about whether we were going to go have a drink with her and let him. Well, you have a drink. I don't drink. I know he doesn't drink. If I have a drink with her, and if we were going to go out at all, um. Or if we we're going to stay home. And what did I threaten to do if we stayed home? Set the clock. Oh, back. yeah, you just set the clock back like two hours. Back. I can set it ahead two hours so that at 10 o'clock it would read midnight and then we'd all just go to bed. She did that when I was little all the time. Yeah. Like every year. I mean, every. Well, because his messing was on a schedule and I didn't want to have to get up in the middle of the night. So if he stayed up late, then it messed up his medicines. And they were breathing treatments. So you can't just do that. Anyway, so he took his last one before bed, and as long as he took it by 10 o'clock, we got to go <laughs> until like 6 and not have to worry about it. But then the next day is the, when it would go off. So, it, which New Year's Day would put it late, and then we'd end up having to get up in the middle of the night and try and readjust. So, I used to just take the clock, and at about 9 o'clock, I'd set it at 11. And it was always dark out. He never knew. And I was a gullible kid. <laughs> so we would have popcorn and candy and and just snacks, cookies. Uh, the cheese and crackers was a big deal. And the couch pulls out into a bed, so we'd have that. And he actually would sleep on that and watch TV. Um, never and we'd watched put a, ball drop till no, I we like never watched the ball drop. We always put on a movie. Just saying, okay, if you're going to do it, you got to do it right. 
So we'd always put on a movie and then tell him it was late and, oh my gosh, look, look, look. And we'd have the clock set out there and yeah, it was pretty fun. But I did threaten to do that this year if we stay home and just pretend that we made it till midnight. You'll be asleep before. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to be awake before it's time. My daughter's going to text. They have an event. So when they do these event things, she has to work. But she's supposed to get off. The event ends at 8, and then she has to clean up. And they should be done by 8.30, and then she'll be home. She's then going to get dressed to go out <laughs> with us. But we're going back to where she works to have the drinks because it's the only thing open. So... Um, I'll give him 10 bucks and let him go play a few games and turn out a drink. We'll probably be home before midnight, correct? And I'll become the home of millionaire. He hopes to win big every time, but I'll give him like 10 bucks. Yeah, it's hard to win big <laughs> off any I think last time I gave him like two dollars. Yes, two dollars. <laughs> two dollars. But you came out with 30. What are the odds, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I demanded my two dollars back. <laughs> Dad gave me ten dollars one time. How much did you come out with that time? Fifty. That's right. So there have been times that we've actually gone in there and lost, so it's not like it, you know, is winning every time. So what I'm else happened in the I'm just lucky, house? folks. I'm just lucky. What what I, somebody needs to back me like a high stakes poker game. I'm lucky. No, lucky. he didn't know how to play poker worth a. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yes, be No, fun. you will lose your money, okay? I will not. Nobody will tell if I was bluffing dead serious or not. Heck, people can't tell half the time I'm serious on this show. I know. All right, anything else going on in the park? Yeah, there was that thing. We had a wonderful Christmas. We hope that all of you did. We're making plans for New Year's. No, they're not extravagant. I'm going to go have my two kids. What's that? It's the room. Why is it brown? It's not. It's gold. It's see. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be like light faded. That's weird. Old antique looking. I got a mug. Why would you make something stuff. new look old? Because uh, that's like buying a new truck and running it into a tree right. so it looks old. No, it's supposed to look antique. -y. Anyway. Um. Okay. Anything else? What did you get for Christmas? You didn't tell them what you got, got for Christmas. I got a movie. And Christopher a, Robin. And I got the movie. Christopher Robin. Watched it like three times. Maybe four. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Every night, like that's Tuesday. all we hear. <laughs> and what else did you get with that? And I got a pink t-shirt. Like this one. Yep. Hot pink. Or wore it yesterday. And you got yesterday. a new pair of boots. Yeah, Correct. Right. I got a new pair of shoes. Got a new pair of boots. Um, anything new else? pair of hiking boots. Hiking. No, you have a new pair of riding boots. Cowboy boots. Um, they're kind of like these shoes? No, they're not. Get but them off my table. Those are his slippers. They're nasty. He still wears them outside. Okay, anything else? There was this thing. What? You know that thing. I know the thing, but since I don't remember the thing. Yeah, I know. We were aware anyway. Of, so it's okay. You forgot the So thing. tomorrow I'll we'll work. You this will upload, probably be uploaded sometime tonight, right? Yeah, Mom will so. post until Monday morning. She's no, I just do it like as the computer know. gets done. So it'll post when it goes. All right, anything else? Oh, we didn't need to say that one thing. That one thing. Oh, yeah, really? Ready? One, two, oh, yeah. one, two, three. Sassafras! <laughs> Do it right. Okay. One, two, three. Pickles! <laughs> Last time. One, two, three. She's gonna kill me! Can we please finish this so we can get off of here? It's the last thing we gotta say. Okay. One, two. I can't stop now. She's gonna kill me. My camera's off. <laughs> I'm in too deep, folks. Help me. Help me. Help me. Uh, ready? Alright. One, two, three. <laughs> Happy New Year, guys. He's not gonna say it. So. Happy New Year. I can't, guys. I'm too far <laughs> deep. I'm in too deep. She's going to get me. She's going to get me. She's going to get me. Bye. Happy New Year for real. <laughs> See ya.